clear eyes, full hearts can't lose. Can't lose! Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the Friday Night Lights cast, Where Are They Now? Texas Forever Street. Texas Forever. I got a bad feeling about this. What kind of bad feeling? I got Zilla. For this list, we'll be looking at what the stars of the hit football television drama Friday Night Lights have been up to since the show ended in 2011. Who's your favorite Dylan resident? Let us know in the comments. Number 12, Journey Smollett. Daddy, okay, look, I'm sorry, I, I like football. Okay, Andre loves football. Darius loves it so much he throws up because he gets so nervous before each game. Before Friday Night Lights, Journey Smollett was already impressing us from a young age. Hey, I'm her best friend, she's tracing me. Whether it was on shows like Full House or in films like Eve's Bayou. Where's Daddy? He's never home. He's supposed to be home sometimes. By the time the 2000s rolled around, she more than held her own on the big screen. But TV has been where Smollett shines. <laughs> she, she was looking really good tonight. I'm surprised to see you. Really? She joined Friday Night Lights for its last two seasons as Jess Merriweather, who, like Smollett, had a drive and passion. Whether it was in her complicated relationship with Vince or trying to prove herself as a coach. Coach, you know you're going through his stuff? Oh, uh, well, I was just like putting the folder there. After FNL, Smollett joined True Blood for its last two seasons, then as a main cast member on the short-lived Underground. 2020 has already proven Journey Smollett is someone to keep your eye on. You're getting promoted. Want proof? Check her out on Lovecraft Country. Seriously. Number 11, Gaius Charles. Coach, look, they're not holding their blocks. I can't get around them. Brian Smash Williams may have left the show after season three, but he never left our hearts or our screens. I'll be ready for prime time just like Dad taught me. He's racked up a few movie credits to his name, such as the Angelina Jolie film Salt. On the small screen, he starred in the cult favorite Shondaland show Grey's Anatomy as Dr. Shane Ross. I know this must be scary for you. It would be for me, that's for sure. It started out as a recurring role, but he quickly became a series regular for a time. He also had main roles on Aquarius and Taken, though both shows only ran for two seasons. Afternoon, Ms. Lee. These days, he plays a farmer named Bronson on Roswell, New Mexico. How come it feels like you don't know what I'm saying, but you know what I'm thinking? He also had a recurring role as Reverend Carter on God Friended Me. You know how much I respect you, Arthur. Respect this church. But I have my own voice, my own message to share, and I believe if you let me, I have something to offer. If that's not versatility, we don't know what is. Number 10, Scott Porter. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome tonight's honorary Dylan captain, number six, Jason Street. He's most well known for bringing beloved quarterback Jason Street to life, but since then, Porter has maintained a pretty steady rate of new projects. Phil, come on, every day it's about how, how great my progress has been and how unusual I am. Most notably, he went on to star as Southern lawyer George Tucker on the Rachel Bilson-led dramedy Heart of Dixie. Ladies, hi. He's also had multiple guest roles on shows including The Good Wife, Why Women Kill, and Harley Quinn. Oh, well, there's nothing left in there. She cleaned it out, so. His latest project is the 2020 Netflix original, Ginny and Georgia. Off screen, he spends time watching sports and hanging out with his wife, Kelsey Mayfield, and their two adorable children. Fittingly, he met Kelsey on the set of Friday Night Lights. It turns out he's a family man, much like Jason was. Number nine, Amy Teagarden. For the first time, it just felt like I was at home. To this day, the role of Julie Taylor remains what she's best known for. And while it may be her most memorable performance, it was not her last one. Well, I think it's time, don't you think? Tea Garden's film credits include Scream 4 and 2020's Guest House. We're getting married! As for television, she was cast as the lead of the 2014 CW drama Starcrossed, which unfortunately got cancelled after just one season. This is your club? Yeah. She also played Ella on the equally short-lived 2016 show Notorious. What are you doing here? My job. Some of her other credits include a recurring role on The Ranch and the television movie Once Upon a Christmas Miracle. He loved Christmas. 
And he loved spoiling us with presents. Plus, if you go on her Instagram, you'll see countless pictures of her adorable pup. Number eight, Zach Guilford. Well, you can see the look on his face I right now. Up, I don't go. think he minutes. ever let's expected to play on, in this one. Go. Since winning over viewers everywhere as the awkward but lovable Matt Saracen, Guilford has diversified his portfolio. Dad? Matt? You're home! Namely, he starred in the horror flick The Purge Anarchy, which co-starred his wife, Keely Sanchez. No, 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 that's a long way. It's, it's gonna be much quicker if we go down here. But he didn't leave the small screen behind. In 2019, he appeared in the ABC mystery drama The Family. Rookie mistake. Unfortunately, it was canceled after one season. In 2017, he starred in the web television series Lifeline. Currently, he appears in LA's Finest as Ben Walker. Oh, great. I don't have to listen to you do college tuition calculations anymore. He also has a recurring role as Greg on the hit show Good Girls. Nice. And has a part in the upcoming show Ombre. However, his talents go beyond film and TV. He even played Taylor Swift's love interest in the music video for her song Ours. He's definitely not a one-trick pony. Number seven, Adrian Palicki. Whoa, what's going on out there? It's a bunch of overheated jocks, too dumb to know they have no future, fighting over a game that has no meaning in a town from which there is no escape. After leaving Dylan and misunderstood cool girl Tyra Collette behind, Palicki went on to snag the role of Lady J in the action flick G.I. Joe Retaliation. Imagine the army it takes to make me look like this. She also had supporting roles in Red Dawn and John Wick. Hey, John. On the small screen, she joined the cast of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. as Bobby for 31 episodes. We have a mole, ladies and gentlemen. Interestingly, she took that superhero expertise and wrote a comic book, No Angel, with her brother. Currently, she stars in Seth MacFarlane's sci-fi dramedy The Orville as Commander Kelly Grayson. You guys, we're on the edge of the frontier of explored space. That doesn't excite you? And while her Dylan high days are behind her, she still visits her old stomping grounds when she's in Texas. You can take the girl out of the town, but you can't take the town out of the girl. I love you too much to watch him do that to you anymore. Number six, Jesse Plemons. I'm gonna act like a man. Since his portrayal of Landry Clark came to an end, Plemons has kept busy. His credits include Black Mirror and movies like Game Night, Battleship, and Scorsese's critically acclaimed The Irishman. Yeah, I had a frozen fish I had to deliver for a friend of mine. He also appeared in I'm Thinking of Ending Things, which received rave reviews. Plus, he cemented himself as part of the Breaking Bad universe, starring in the TV show and its 2019 spin off movie, El Camino. I'm feeling kind of lonely too, if you don't mind. Can I sit down here beside you? It's also important to mention his main role on Fargo. While his character story was interesting, the show was important for Plemons for a different reason. He starred in season two with his now fiance, Kirsten Dunst, with whom he welcomed a son in 2018. Because we're doing great, yeah? Well, yeah. He also has a slew of projects slated for 2021 releases. It's safe to say he's doing pretty well for himself. Okay, that's true. Number five, Minka Kelly. Are you with this team? Yes, You're sure? Yes, ma'am. She captured our hearts as Girl Next Door Lila Garrity and continues to impress us to this day. On the small screen, she played Eve in the Charlie's Angels reboot, which was unfortunately canceled almost immediately. Every minute you play one of these games, you get a sticker. I have a whole bunch of them in my bag here. She since had successful roles in shows like Parenthood and now stars in Titans as Don Granger, also known as Dove. You want to stop the cycle of violence, I'm here to help. On the big screen, she's been in The Roommate, Just Go With It, Searching for Sunny, and The Butler, among others. I am thrilled to be working with all of you over the next four years. <laughs> Eight years, Jen. Her newest film is titled She's in Portland. What did you do with my wife? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and she has another movie, Lansky, currently in post-production. Not to mention she's an entrepreneur. She's worked for years with the female-driven sustainable brand Abel, whose goal is to empower women globally. She even designed a jewelry line for them. You go, girl. Number four, Michael B. Jordan. Mr. Garrity, I don't, I don't think Coach really cares what I gotta say. Um, I won't change nothing, no how. By the time we met Vince Howard in season four, Michael B. Jordan had already graced our screens in shows like All My Children and The Wire. You work in the ground stash, 20 tall pigs. Two fans come up to you and ask for two each, another one cops three. Then Bodie hands you off 10 more. But some white guy rolls up in the car, waves you down and pays for eight. How many vials you got left? 
fitting. As Vince, Jordan showcased his dramatic chops and made viewers root for his character every step of the way. In the 2010s, Jordan focused more on film and quickly got everyone's attention in 2013's Fruitvale Station. It's cool, bro. I'm gonna get us up out of here, bro. He then made his mark on beloved franchises, appearing as Human Torch in the Fantastic Four reboot, and then in the Rocky spin-off Creed as Adonis Donnie Creed. Get your hands off me, old man! Get your sick ass out of here! Leave! You ain't talking like you my family. You got my real family killed. Teaming up with Fruitvale Station and Creed director Ryan Coogler yet again, Jordan portrayed Eric Killmonger in Black Panther with a depth and ferocity we've come to expect. Is this your king? Huh? Though Jordan has been acting for two decades now, we never get tired of seeing what role he'll inhabit next. This case becomes more than the trial of just a single defendant. It becomes a test of whether we're gonna be governed by fear and by anger by the rule of law. Number three, Taylor Kitsch. Here's to God and football and 10 years from now, Street. Good friends living large in Texas. Texas forever. It looks like Tim Riggins is all grown up. Since 2011, the man formerly known as Dylan's resident bad boy has taken on a mix of projects. You are a difficult man to find, Captain John <laughs> Carter. His film credits include John Carter, Lone Survivor, and Savages. It's been a ride, man. I've enjoyed it. He also starred in Battleship alongside his FNL co-star Jesse Plemons. I got a bad feeling about this. What kind of bad feeling? Like we're gonna need a new planet. Kind of bad feeling. In 2019, he appeared in 21 Bridges. I don't buy it. What? As for TV, he was in season two of the anthology crime drama True Detective and in the miniseries Waco. They're coming for me. Plus, he's the lead in the upcoming TV series Shadow Play. Unfortunately, though, its premiere was postponed due to the coronavirus pandemic. As for Kitch's personal life, he built a house in Texas after the show ended, keeping true to his Friday Night Lights roots. It's nice to see some things never change. Texas Forever Street. Texas Forever. Number two, Kyle Chandler. Now, how's it feel to be head coach after what? How many years? Six years it is. Coach Taylor was tough but fair, and Chandler's portrayal made him extremely memorable. Clear eyes, full hearts can't lose. Can't lose! In the time since the show ended, he's had roles in movies such as The Wolf of Wall Street, Zero Dark Thirty, Game Night with Jesse Plemons. What's up? Hello again. And Godzilla, King of the Monsters. My God, Zilla. He's also set to appear in the latter's film sequel, Godzilla vs. Kong, which is slated for a 2021 release. He's also got the film The Midnight Sky, which is in post-production, though he hasn't abandoned television. In fact, he starred in the Netflix original drama Bloodline, a thriller about dark family secrets. When is this gonna end? Plus, he appeared in Catch-22, a satirical miniseries about war. Gotta love those Catholics, huh? And the Jews. He jokes that his family is happy his job gets him out of the house, and we're thrilled to watch what he makes. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Connie Britton. Hey y'all! Hey David! Hey, Arguably the show's biggest star, Britton has not slowed down since bringing Tammy Taylor to life. How was the show last night? Back to the gills. Notably, she played country superstar Raina James in the popular TV show Nashville. In recent years, she starred in Dirty John, American Horror Story, 911, and The People vs. O.J. Simpson, American Crime Story. You know, when she was at that little house on Gretna Green, he used to hide in the bushes. As for movies, her work includes, but is not limited to, Bombshell and 2020's Good Joe Bell. I'm gonna fight it. The charges are absurd. Plus, in 2019, she inked a first look deal with Amazon Studios to develop shows for Prime Video, gaining some well-earned control behind the scenes. And while she mainly uses social media to advocate for causes she cares about, you can catch glimpses of her with friends and family on there too. All we can say is Connie forever.
Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.